Good morning and welcome to Breakfast with Velvis. We are breaking our fast this morning by reading and reflecting on the Word of God. And today's scripture, again, is found in Romans chapter 8, starting at verse 29. And it reads, For those he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, so that he will be the firstborn among many brothers. And those he predestined, he also called. Those he called, he also justified. And those he justified, he also glorified. And here just as a quick reflection, um, I just want to encourage you and remind you that God has a plan for your life. God has a plan for his children. And <clears throat> excuse me. And that plan was predetermined before um, we were ever even uh, born or created. Um, God had a plan for your life. It was already predestined. And he said it was uh, predetermined, predestined to uh, be conformed to the what image of his son. So therefore it was to become like Christ, to become a child of God, to have the mind of Christ, to to um, uh, follow Christ's example. Um, so to be conformed to the image of his son so that he will be uh, the firstborn among many, that he will be our example. He will be our leader. And those he predestined, those who he predetermined, what he also called. He called you. He gave a uh, command for you to come out, come out of the world, come out of um, um, your own selfishness and sin. And But he called us unto himself. So <clears throat> he also called and then he what he also justified that means he he made us worthy he made us right he made us redeemed before uh of our father his father in heaven so and our father in heaven god himself and so and then when he justified us he also glorified us so therefore we will one day have a glorified body when we go and uh <clears throat> When we pass on and be in the presence of God, we will have that glorified body. I know that a lot of times we hear this in, in more of line of um, our calling as far as um, being ministers and different things like that. But here... <clears throat> I just want to remind you that God has a purpose and a plan for your life. And that purpose and plan is for you to uh, be conformed to the image of his son, Jesus Christ, who paid the penalty for our sin, that we may have a right to the tree of life and have a right relationship with God the Father in heaven. So we have broken our fast this morning by reading and reflecting upon the word of God. I pray that you have been encouraged uh, and, and even strengthened in the word to just know that God loves you and that he has a plan for you. So um, continue to seek him in his word and remember to go forward today. Remember to love like God loves you and remember you are special no matter what you are going through and no matter what you have been through. Be blessed and I will see you on the next episode.